Hello and welcome to this edition of KPSN. Friday night, every day, every hour, come on. With a legacy of excellence and determination, our King Philip athletes know what it means to be a warrior. When they wear our colors, they know it's more than just a game. They are prepared. They will not show weakness and they have a mindset to win. They'll never give up no matter what and they will work hard because they know it pays off and after a summer of grinding workouts, practices and camps, our warriors, the King Philip Warriors are ready to dominate. You don't win with luck, you win when you have to put in the work. Our athletes have dedicated themselves, poured their hearts and souls into their training and transformed into titans of their sports and they proudly represent our name, King Philip. From the gritty tackles to the precision shots and relentless pursuit of victory on the trails, our warriors embody the spirit of true champions. They are ready for this electrifying journey and are prepared to redefine their greatest expectations. They will outwork their opponents, there's no question. They have the commitment and determination to be better than their rivals on every single level. The class of 2024 knows it's time to fight for their dreams and to fight for their goals. They have reached that time in their lives where they are leading the path. They are raising the bar. They are carrying on that warrior legacy to even greater heights. Your time is now. Make sure with everything you do, you are striving to reach greatness. Not just today, but every day. Nothing beats hard work. Nothing. So put on your green and gold, pack the wall, and let's show our opponents what we're made of. We have heart, we have character, and we are determined. We are the Warriors. For the rest of the Hawk Mock League, it's a fall sports season. For the Warriors, it's winning season. Together, we'll reach new heights, achieve our goals, and make our opening season one to remember. The warm weather is turning cold, the beach has turned to turf, and our Warriors are ready to rise. To the graduating class of 2024, Warrior Pride is part of who you are now and who you will become in the future. The heart and soul of the green and gold will continue to shape your character, preparing you for your greatest future. Be prepared to make your mark as you embark on the last leg of your journey as a King Philip Warrior. The hard and sometimes treacherous work you have to put into your career at King Philip will pay off. It's time to help your team to realize their greatest potential. You are the example. Lead by it. Anything is possible when you believe in yourself and your fellow Warriors. Our Warrior Golf Team is carrying a strong reputation. The team has won the Hockamock All-Stars Championship the last three years and we have won the Hockamock Kelly Rex title the past two seasons. The team also boasts a very strong 10-player JV developmental squad that continues to push the varsity top 8 to play their absolute best week in and week out. The team has a goal to defend its all-star match and Hawk champ status and to qualify for the finals in the state tournament. I'm here with sophomore Logan Riley. How's the season been so far? For varsity, you know, things have been looking up. We've been doing very well and uh, for JV players like myself, things are great, you know. Come out, play golf and you know, we're all fighting for that, those eight, seven spots, but things are great. Love the team. There are many members of the senior class that will be in front of the pack in the cross country trails. Challenge yourself in every race and you will break those PRs like they were meant to be broken. First race went good. Um, me and Luca worked together for the whole thing. We went out pretty fast. Um, then we tempoed the rest. Yeah, about halfway we had it on the wraps. Uh, that's about it, yeah. For our girls cross country team, PRs will be broken. Goals will be achieved and teams will fall with all the challenges and hard work that's been put into this season. The girls came home with a close victory against Taunton, starting their season off with a nice 1-0 lead in the Hawk. The King Philip Warriors are back to winning ways on the football field. Led by explosive players like senior captain Tommy McLeish, the offense is looking to be a force to be reckoned with. I mean, I love throwing the ball. It's what, it's what I do. It's my job, right? So, you know, Coach V, drawing up plays for us to go throw it. I love it. I'm here with offensive coordinator Coach Basakis. 
Uh, how do you think your first year as offensive coordinator, coordinator is going so far? I think so far so good. It was great to be here last year, so I got to learn the kids, learn the system. Um, but I think the first so far so good, and I'm really excited to keep going with the season. And don't get us started on the O-line. Kinger, dog. Luke Danson, dog. Logan Van, dog. All three of them started last year, and with some new heavy hitters alongside them, the trenches are KP's property. It wouldn't be a Warriors team if the defense wasn't a lockdown. Led by some returning seniors and a bunch of new talent in the secondary, the defense has looked dominant and will continue to be a wall of green and gold. With two games played already, the team is moving on from mistakes and getting ready to dominate Norwood next Friday night under the lights on our home turf. Get to games, get in the warm, be loud, and we'll see the Warriors continue to show up and show out. We look good. You know, uh, Walpole, everyone's like, Walpole's going to be a tough opponent, but not for KP. KP's, uh, we're coming different this year. We're coming for that uh, state championship. A nice end of the summer season for the boys soccer team leaves them with the confidence going into the regular season, hoping to bounce back and be strong contenders in the Hockamock League. The team is led by captains Tommy Lamusio, Neil McGrath, Dermot Amorum, and Will Bowen. This is a group of strong leaders that will no doubt get the team prepared to win this season. You know, I'm really proud of the squad today. Not the result we wanted. Kind of got unlucky in the back. Got a couple goals that, you know, bad bounces, unlucky passes, you know, it happened. So put two goals in the net. It's a good start for us. Get the foot forward. Come back on Friday with OA and hopefully get a dub. Their score didn't reflect the way the boys play. We should have had that one, but it happens and we'll be back on it on Friday with the win. You know, despite what the scoreboard says, we completely outplayed them. I mean, I'd say at least 95% of the game, we were all over them. And um, it just, what we got going is special, and I look forward to what we got going into the further into the season. The girls' soccer team has gotten off to a hot start with key wins over Hockamock League foes Stoughton and a competitive Franklin squad. In their key win over Stoughton, junior Michaela Thompson found Heidi Lawrence twice for a pair of goals that gave them advantage in their season opener win. After a good win, the girls got to work at practice on Tuesday in order to prepare for the talented Franklin squad. In a tight battle, the girls came out with a stellar 2-1 win. The Warriors looked to add another win to their record when they face Oliver Ames Friday on our turf. I think we're really strong all throughout the field. We have a really good back line and then we also have two strong forwards, Michaela Thompson and Heidi Lawrence, that make very good goal scoring opportunities. This year it's going to be us and we have a really talented squad. Everyone's been working super hard in all practices with shots on net, defenders in the back and good crosses from the midfield. So I think today's going to be a really successful game and Franklin's going to really have to play hard in order to keep up with us. The field hockey team has been working hard all summer, putting in the hours bright and early, washing away the rust from the offseason. They are ready for the challenge of a tough schedule ahead. During the preseason, they had three quality scrimmages and joint practices to work on their tactical things with other teams. A strong group of veteran players are ready to pick up right where they left off, including league all-stars Kelly Holmes and Nikki McDonald. They are a duo that will be a huge threat for the team in the midfield. On the front line, Captain Mara Boldy will be looking to continue being an unstoppable force inside the circle. How do you guys think you did against your game against Franklin? I think we played really well. We came out with energy. I feel like we're definitely like the better team. I feel like they kind of like were getting in their heads, but we stayed like nice and calm. We had two rain delays because there was lightning, so we had to go inside for an hour total, and then it got canceled. So we're trying to see if we can make up the rest of the game. If not, it's a loss, two to one, but that's still better than last year. So. What is the uh, game plan for all of our games this week? Um, they have two really good players. One of them, she's committed to Merrimack, so we're going to mark up on her and kind of try to shut her down, but also try to get as many offensive opportunities as we can and capitalize on those. The volleyball team has been known as a team to beat in the Hawk for many years. They have made deep playoff runs in the past few years and even found their way to the state championship last season. They have been working hard to prepare for the challenges they will face in the upcoming season. This team is stacked and ready to win. So I think our goals for this season are to communicate as a team and to really work together to have the same success that we did last season. And I think we're going to bounce back from our game against Franklin yesterday. I think we played really well as a team. We just need to get that extra drive to beat them, hopefully later in the season. And I think we're really prepared for our game today, and I think it's going to be a good game for us. 
After a huge season last year, making one of the biggest runs King Philip Cheer has ever seen, the team is hoping to raise the bar. They are excited to supply our Warriors energy during the football games throughout the season and are working overtime for their first competitive meet in Milford on October 15th. Our unified basketball team began practicing last night and they are perhaps the finest examples of what it means to be a Warrior. They have a number of returning players ready to show what it means to wear the green and gold. It's about unity, togetherness, confidence, and pride. I'm Chris Federico and I'm part of the unified basketball team. Let's go Warriors! We will undoubtedly see the athletes from every sport exceeding their greatest expectations and here is a fine example from week one. Last week junior running back Drew LaPlante had a breakout game as he rushed for 160 yards and two touchdowns. The junior was also nominated as a Division II Player of the Week. I was just really excited. Um, going through practice I knew like I was going to get an opportunity uh, to play like because last year I didn't get the opportunities that I wanted. So I was just really, really excited. You don't always get what you wish for. Most often, you get what you work for. Hard work pays off. Get to games, be loud, be respectful, responsible, sportsmanlike, and show the other team who they're up against. It's time for the most action-packed sports network in the state. All the biggest plays, inside footage, team preparation, and personal player interactions from our Warrior teams all in one place. This is KPSN. Mm -hmm.